Today I'd like to give you my take on banjo rolls, which ones to learn first, how to play them, and where you can use them. We'll define a banjo roll as a series of notes that can be repeated to form a rhythmic pattern. The first roll we'll investigate is the alternating thumb roll as it appears in Earl Scruggs book. The alternating roll in its simplest form is just four notes, thumb, index, thumb, middle. Count would be one and two and playing strings three, two, five, one. It's customary to have eight notes in a measure in bluegrass banjo, so you would play the roll twice to fill up a measure. One and two and three and four and. In Earl's book, he shows the roll where the second time through it begins on the fourth string. Still the alternating roll because the thumb is playing every other note. Thumb, 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 thumb. The trick to playing melody notes while playing the alternating roll is to land the melody notes with your thumb. see that the thumb was playing each of those melody notes, it is still an alternating roll because it follows the pattern thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle. So very important to have the dexterity to hit different strings when you're playing your alternating roll. A quick word about what has become known as the banjo bounce, which is when you play your rolls, be a little unevenness to it to where the thumb notes in this case and the alternating roll last longer than the finger notes. And this sounds good at a slow speed. It's kind of hard to speed that up. So I recommend learning your rolls evenly first so that you eventually can play them faster. And when appropriate on slower songs, put the banjo bounce in. The motion of moving your fingers in order, thumb, index, and middle, is called a forward roll. In its simplest form, it's just three notes, with those three notes moving down the strings toward the ground. When you repeat the forward pattern, you only come up with six notes. So typically, we'll add two more notes, either the thumb and index, or the thumb and middle, to give ourselves a measure of eight notes. One and two and three and four and. Playing forward rolls introduces the concept of syncopation, where accented notes fall on unaccented beats. One and two and. When you hit that thumb, it's going to be a stronger note, but it appears on the end of the beat. You can recognize a forward roll in tab by the spelling of the name Tim, T-I-M. The Tim can come anywhere in the roll. So in this example, I will begin with two notes, thumb middle, and add my Tim twice. One and two and three and four and. Forward rolls typically produce a nicer flow of notes, especially when combined with an alternating roll. So going back to our song Long Journey Home, I'll change the second measure to a forward roll. With a bounce. It makes sense if we have a forward motion, we could also have a backward motion, which spells the word MIT, M-I-T. The backward roll is most commonly used in combination with a forward roll. Forward, fill-in note, backward, fill-in note. 
that gives us our full eight notes per measure. We call this the forward-backward roll. One and two and three and four and. The forward-backward roll does a great job of carrying the melody, especially when the melody is on these lower strings, like in Worried Man Blues. Any role where you can recognize the words Tim and Mitt will be considered a forward-backward role. Sometimes the two words will overlap, like in this example. Thumb, index, middle, index, thumb. So the Tim, T-I-M, overlaps, M-I-T. One and two and three and four. This has become known as the tag roll. The reason it's become known as the tag roll is Earl Scruggs' famous lick that he uses at the end of many solos employs that roll. The roll is also used during a D chord oftentimes right before that final tag. You can hear the two together gives you a nice ending. Knowing the alternating, the forward backward, and the forward roll will give you just about every roll you need in Scruggs style if you have the ability to vary the different strings that you strike. Other roles beyond those basic three will usually be because you are learning a specific song. Of course, Foggy Mountain Breakdown has the Foggy Mountain Breakdown roll. Index, middle, thumb, middle. That thumb on beat two gives added stress when you add the hammer-ons. You finish with your thumb, which means your index finger is the next finger available to start the roll over. Another fairly unique role is the one found in the song Dooley by the Dillards. Doug Dillard came up with this. Earl had previously played it, but Doug played it in many tunes. So I affectionately call it Doug's Roll. You have to play it twice to come up with your eight notes to complete one measure. It's important to remember that the word roll is simply a term we use to identify repeatable patterns. So keep on rolling and have fun.